perfect prayer. Let us improve our prayers and make them perfect. The only way to talk to God is through prayer. Because we could lose time if we don't pray or if we don't do it well. To pray is to have a moment of exclusive recollection for God in which we can make a learned prayer or we can speak from the depths of our hearts and express what we feel to God. The purpose of prayer is not just asking. There are several types of prayers that are pleasing to God. We must do prayers of praise, thanksgiving, worship, intercession, and reparation. Most of the prayers we do are aiming to get something from God. And that's where we fail. Because we must love God for what He is and not for what we can get from Him. Prayer should be a dialogue of man with God. Not in one way road, I talk, I ask, I complain, I want, I give God instructions and he must respond. No, this is not the way. In that kind of prayer comes out everything from our minds. A selfish relationship with God is formed in which I come to pray to see what I can get from God. This is not through prayer. Prayer should be united to love. The Lord asks us in the first commandment to love Him with all our heart, mind, soul, spirit, strength, and all our being. The Lord says in Isaiah 29, verse 13, These people approaches me only in words, honors me only with lip service while their hearts are far from me, and reverence for me, as far as they are concerned, is nothing but human commandment, a lesson memorized. We approach God only in words. We ask, but we don't give. We search, but only what is of interest to us. We don't truly seek God. We look at God as our benefactor, and we want to bring him out. Remember how Jesus, after the multiplication of the loves, ran away from the people. When they found him, he told them, Truly, truly, I say to you, it is not because you saw these signs that you are looking for me, but because you ate the loves and had your fill. The Lord was also angry after having healed ten lepers and seeing how only one came back to thank him. The Lord doesn't want us to seek him only to profit from him. Then, what is it that the Lord wants? He tells us in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, Strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. In Psalm 139, verses 1 and 2. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. Matthew tells us in chapter 6, verse 25 to 32. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not? of more value than they. And can any of you, by boring, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies in the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon, in all his glory, 
was not clothed like one of these. But it got so close the grass of the field, which is alive today, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven. Will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive all these things, and indeed your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. In prayer we cannot say our words like a parrot. Sometimes we even think of other things when we are praying. This is offending God. Hence the purpose of meditating and leaving every word that we tell the Lord. The Our Father combined with the Hail Mary and the Glory Be become the most important prayer we have, the Holy Rosary. That is why it is so important that we learn to pray from the depths of our hearts. The Holy Rosary has the power to crush Satan's head is the chain with which Satan will be bound forever. When we pray the Rosary, we become the powerful feet of the Virgin Mary that crushes Satan's head. You cannot meditate the Our Father, Hail Mary, and Glory Be during the Rosary, but we must leave these prayers and meditate them during private moments to have a more profound sense what we really mean when we pray. The apostles wanted to learn how to pray. The Lord revealed the prayer of the Our Father, because in this prayer we find all we have to say to God. Let's meditate the Our Father. Let's feel the reality of that encounter and live prayer as if we were physically in the presence of God. Under normal conditions, we cannot pray with so much depth. But when we do it, even once a day, this meditation gives us great closeness to the Lord. Our Father, Holy Father, Good Father, Daddy God, here I am. I'm your prodigal son. I have sinned against heaven and against you. I do not deserve to be your son. So I come to you with a humble and contrite heart. Receive me with your paternal embrace. Wrap me with your infinite love. I come before you to receive your light, your advice, your grace, your blessing, and your permission, so that I can do everything in your holy will. You who are in heaven, I lift my spirit to you to be in your presence and to worship you in spirit and in truth. You are surrounded by light inaccessible incomprehensible majesty, and infinite and eternal glory. Hallowed be your name. I come to worship you with the Virgin Mary, the angels, and the saints. Holy, holy, holy is the name of the Lord God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. Holy name of Jesus. Holy of holies. Name of names. God of gods. Light of lights. Spirits of spirits. Will of wills. Power of powers, King of kings, Lord of lords, love of loves, fire of fires, treasure of treasures, Yahweh Sabaoth, I am who I am, Jesus. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let your kingdom come, Lord. Shine your light in our souls and reign in our lives. May peace, love, and joy reign in our hearts. May your kingdom of holiness, justice, truth, and integrity reign on earth. Reign God, the Father, and fill us with your divine will in all your attributes. Reign, Lord Jesus, and fill us with your holy word 
your divine mercy, your eternal wisdom, and all your divine attributes. Bring God, the Holy Spirit, fill us with the love of the Father and of all your divine attributes. Bring also, Blessed Mother Mary, in our lives, throne of the Holy Trinity. Thy will be done, Lord, on earth, as it is in heaven, that we become your slaves of love and accept your will, because it is perfect. Not my will, Lord, but yours be done. Thy will be done in all of us, as in Jesus and Mary. Give us today our daily bread, generous Father. Grant us our physical and spiritual daily bread. Nourish our bodies. Give us health. And feed our souls with the bread of life. Give to the poor, the needy, the victims of war, hunger, injustice, calamities, and all natural disasters. Give, Lord, to all those who ask you, to those who suffer, those who are in need. Give us the bread of life, Jesus, in the Eucharist, and give us good priests. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We repent of our sins and ask for your forgiveness. In your holy name, we forgive those who have offended us. Lord, Cleanse our hearts of all resentments. Here on the cross, with Jesus crucified, I pray for all my brothers and sisters, and make in mind the words of Jesus, I pray for them. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And lead us not into temptation, Lord. Give us the grace to remain in your hands. Cover us with your precious blood. Cover us, Blessed Mother Mary, with your mantle and with your light. And deliver us from evil, Lord. We recognize that we are so weak. Please protect us from all evil. Protect us from the enemy who wants our perdition. And let us not fall into his hands. Amen. Let it be so. Not our wills. But yours be done. Lord, take care of everything. Now let us meditate the Hail Mary. The first part of the Hail Mary is said by the Spirit of God through the Archangel Gabriel and by Elizabeth, the cousin of the Virgin Mary, who was filled with the Holy Spirit and revealed what was in her heart. This prayer is of great value before God. Here we find the pleasure of God, the Father, who in His divine will has sent His Word, His Son, into the world. Here we find how the Word of God incarnates in the most pure womb of Mary. The Holy Spirit takes flesh and blood of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And so, the Word becomes like one of us. Here again, we see how the Holy Spirit overshadows the Blessed Virgin Mary, making her his spouse, and conceives in her womb by divine grace, the Son of God, through God and through man, the Word of God incarnate. In the first part of the Hail Mary, we can meditate on the mysteries of the Rosary, the joy, the suffering, in the glory of God and the Virgin Mary. Hail Mary, full of joy, suffering, glory, or light. Hail Mary, God the Father announces you through the angel. Ave Maria, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Take care of everything. The Father glorifies your holy name and says, Mary, my daughter, you are full of grace. You are full of God's favor, not only for you, but for all humanity. You are full of God. The Lord has done great things in you, and holy is his name. God has made you his mother in our mother. He has raised you to the throne of his glory. He has made you queen of heaven and all creation. He has clothed you with light, majesty, and glory. He has filled you with power, wisdom, love, 
grace, and all his divine attributes. The Lord is with you. God the Almighty, the Invisible, is with you and will always be. God has come to make his dwelling in your immaculate heart. You are the throne of the most holy trinity. You are blessed among women. This is the voice of God the Son who lives in your womb, who glorifies his beloved mother and says, Mary, my mother, it could be blessed among all women. But she said, Now you, Mary, by the mouth of the Most High, has been called blessed upon the whole human race. The Holy Spirit filled your cousin Elizabeth and gave testimony through her. Blessed is the fruit of your womb. It was not flesh and blood that revealed this to Elizabeth. It was the Holy Spirit that inspired her to prophesy in praise of the Virgin Mary. God rejoices in his beloved spouse and glorifies her holy name, he tells her, Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Mary, my beloved spouse. You're the new Eve, mother of Christ and mother of his mystical body, the children of the church, the children of God. The church added the word Jesus at the end of the Hail Mary. The fruit of Mary's womb is Jesus. In Jesus we are all begotten as adopted children to become children of God through our baptism and Christian profession. In Mary we are all children of grace because we are conceived in her immaculate womb and in her immaculate heart as sons of God. The second part of the Hail Mary was composed by the Church through our devotion to our Most Holy Mother. And so we say, Holy Mary, Mother of God, Mother of Grace, Mother of Holiness, pray for us sinners, pray for us your children who live in this valley of tears, now and at the hour of our death. We ask you to help us at all times, but especially at the hour of our death. When the devil comes to accuse us and claims us for his kingdom, pray for us as an advocate during our particular judgment. Amen. And now let us meditate on the glory be. This prayer should be said very slowly because of the rich theological content found therein. With this meditation, we can make a great act of worship. Glory be to God the Father, glory to you, Holy Father, good Father, dear Father, Daddy God. Lord, I come to worship you. Shine your intense light upon my soul. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, reign in my life, and fill me with your divine will and all your divine attributes. I adore you with all my heart, mind, soul, spirit, and my whole being. I love you. I bless you. I praise you. I adore you. I extol you. I magnify you. I glorify you and I give you thanks. I offer you the infinite and eternal love of God your Son and of God the Holy Spirit, that together with you are one God. I offer you the infinite and eternal love of the Blessed Virgin Mary, your beloved daughter, the love of all your children, the love of the angels and the saints, and the love of all creation. I worship you, my Lord, God the Father, with the love of my whole being. Glory be to God the Son, glory to you, my Lord, my God, my King, and my Savior, Jesus Christ. I adore you, my Lord. Shine your bright light upon my soul. Reign in my life and fill me with your holy word, your divine mercy, your eternal wisdom, and all your attributes. I adore you with all my heart, mind, soul, spirit, and with my whole being. I love you, Lord. I bless you. 
I praise you. I adore you. I extol you. I magnify you. I glorify you. And I give you thanks. I offer you the infinite and eternal love of God your Father and God the Holy Spirit that together with you are one God. I offer you the infinite and eternal love of the Blessed Virgin Mary, your beloved mother, the love of all your children and the redeemed, the love of all the angels and the saints, and the love of all creation. I adore you, Lord Jesus, with the love of my whole being. Glory to you, God, the Holy Spirit. Glory to you, my Lord, my Comforter, my Sanctifier. I adore you, Lord. Shine your intense bright light upon my soul. Reign in my life and fill me with the divine love of the Father and of the Son and with your attributes. Act in me, think in me, and move in me. Descend from above. Blow your divine breath on my humanity, my body, mind, and soul. On these bones, muscles, tendons, joints, on my heart, organs, blood, and my senses. Renew me and restore me. Fill me with the fire of your divine love. Sanctify me with the joy of your presence and with the spirit of peace. I adore you with all my heart, mind, soul, life, spirit, and my whole being. I love you, Lord. I bless you. I praise you, I adore you, I extol you, I magnify you, I glorify you, and I give you thanks. I offer you the infinite and eternal love of God your Father and of Jesus, God the Son, that together with you are one God. I offer you the infinite and eternal love of the Blessed Virgin Mary, your most beloved spouse, the love of all your children, the love of all the angels and the saints, and the love of all creation. I adore you, Lord, with the love of my whole being. And now, we give glory to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Virgin Mary, most holy little mother, I offer you the infinite and eternal love of the Holy Trinity. God the Father glorifies your holy name and fills you. Mary, my beloved daughter, God the Son glorifies your holy name and tells you. Mary, my beloved mother, God the Holy Spirit glorifies your holy name and tells you. Mary, my beloved spouse, most holy mother, I ask you to act in me, think in me, and move in me. Make me another little Mary for the glory of God. Shine your light in my soul, reign in my life, and fill me with your virtues, perfections, and attributes. Fill me with your purity, prudence, humility, faithfulness, devotion, obedience, poverty, patience, mercy, compassion, justice, and peace. Fill me with your spirit, Holy Virgin Mary. And so, with it, I ask you that we worship God. Let us worship God. Let us worship God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alabada sombra santa ranande hasiam bakarai, akuran sete mendai abatoshta vera corazon te ahaya, adalute nenda bahai. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and always will be, forever and ever. Amen. Mm-hmm. 